Hey everybody, uh, Len Stewart, Pixel Pusher here. Excuse me, uh, I'm a little under the weather, but uh, I've gotten a lot of messages about how um, how to make circles uh, isometrically for pixel art. I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. Um, I I'm going to reference two different videos uh, in the description below. Um, the one is my, my one where I do the uh, the uh, uh, the the graph, you know, the, the basically the uh, the layout here that I have, and how I do guides. Um, th that's going to be important. And the other video um, is another one where I take images and I make um, I make flat textures from from them that you can repeat and use. So those are definitely ones that you're going to want to check out um, along with this video. If you want to make um, uh, circles isometrically or clocks on the wall or anything like that. Um, first of all, let, let's uh, start off with something pretty simple here. I'm going to make a circle. Um, now, I kind of like using the... Um, the uh, elliptical marquee tool here. Um, <clears throat> so what I'll do is I I don't really, I, I kind of go from a frame of reference of how big I want my clock, right? And I know this is going to be a straight on circle, but I'm going to show you how to edit it in a little bit. Um, so let's, uh, okay, let's do this. And there you go, you have a, you have a regular circle. Let me make another layer here. And uh, I'll paint in a fancy color so you can uh, see what I'm doing. Okay, there we are. We have our basic circle. Um, so here we go. I'm going to use a transform skew. And I'm going to move this to like that so it aligns with my grid. See so these lines here? And there you go. We can move that wherever we want. Um, now you might see some bits taken out of it, which we can fill in. No big deal. Uh, all right. Well, that, that looks good for a circle on a wall. What do you think? Uh, now, if you want to make a circle on the floor, that's that's also pretty easy. Let's do the same. Uh, Elliptical marquee. Uh, 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 uh. Just a straight on circle. I'm holding shift while I'm doing this, by the way. So if I use the elliptical marquee tool and then hit shift while I'm using it, I can do whatever I want with it. Now, don't go like, don't uh, do this straight away. Um, reason is, is because it can be inaccurate. Uh, so that's why I kind of like holding shift. It gives me a perfect circle and then I can just transform it later. So let's just make a small circle. And I'll paint that another color. Let's use uh, purple. Why not? There you go. And I'm going to transform Transform. Oh, it's on the same layer. Shouldn't have done that. Hold on a second, guys. There we go. <clears throat> Free transform. And if you followed my guide from the video, from the video I'm going to link to you below, you could actually fit it to your guide. And then I can put it wherever I want. And of course, I'm going to have to fill it in a little bit. <clears throat> All right. There we go. So now you got a circle on the ground, circle on the wall. Um, there's also different ways that you can do this, too. Uh, if you, let's make another one. Um, all right, and let's do another layer. And 
I'll make this one green. Now, uh, here's another trick that you can use with trans uh, transform uh, skew. So make it like I, I made uh, this blue one over here, right? Um, I'm going to just skew it the other way this time. But this time, see now, now that I can actually put it like on the wall or whatever, I can actually keep it in skew right now and grab the top and make it a floor one if I really want to. Well, it's really jaggy, but you can fix that because you're a pixel artist. <laughs> um, so here you go. Um, uh, 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 sort of, sort of, kind of. It's not perfect. And you might want to go with the first two strategies that I laid out because this one, you're really going to have to mess with it. Anyway, let's um, let's move on to using um, like an actual image and making it into something like a clock. Because so you can take a clock image and make it um, make it for whatever you're using it for. So let's just take a generic clock. I, I looked one up earlier. You know, copy this guy. <clears throat> we can just paste it in, and of course it's going to be too. Big. All right. Uh, when you're doing this too, make sure uh, nearest neighbors on. When you're scaling things down because you're doing things in pixel art, of course. So try to keep it that way. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get rid of all this crap. Alrighty. Alrighty. Uh, get rid of this elliptical marquee here. Alright. And uh, let's just fill that in with white. Okay, okay, good. Get rid of this stuff on the side here. Okay. Now we'll scale it. Uh, we'll we'll uh, free transform it for right now. Make it small enough so it makes sense within this room that we're making. Again, as I'm doing this, I have nearest neighbor. Always remember that. Uh, this is a pretty big freaking clock. Hold on, let's do this. And uh, while I have, uh, let's do that. Okay. Now we have a clock right on. Let me uh, change the background because. Uh, you guys are really going to want to see this without a black background. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, well, I, you know what? You don't have to clean this up around the edges just yet because we are going to use the skew, transform skew I was just showing you before. Burp, burp, burp. Right there. Again, you will have to clean this up, and uh, you know you're a pixel artist, so it shouldn't be too hard, right? Uh, that's wishful thinking sometimes, isn't it? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. You got your clock, sort of, kind of, right? Uh, being a pixel artist, you can make this look a lot better. Um, I just happened to take one off the internet just to give you some kind of scope of what it could be. So there you go. Um, the skewing technique can also be used for anything you want to um, repeat. 
So like here, here's a pattern that I made um, for a brick, and I and I use this. I made myself a uh, like a little cube template that'll fit exactly to my grid. So you can um, make sure it's like repeats. So if you have a square that you're trying to make that goes in a certain area, you can just make sure that it repeats good. Like this doesn't repeat good because it it's one over, and I didn't I didn't fill in this like a little gap, but it, it's easily uh, it's easily fixable. What I usually do is just take a random one from inside of it, and I'll copy it, and paste it in there. Do 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 do. All right, so there you go. There's your, there's your thing there, uh, and we can replace this one. Right? Okay. So there you go. There, there is that one. Now, what is this one? This one, this one is underneath of it. So you see. So both of these will, uh, they can be repeated. I can show you that right now. There's two, and let's just do one, two, both of them under it, so you can see that they line up. There you go, and then you have a brick wall thing going on, or a brick uh, cube, or whatever you want to make. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to show you in this one. Uh, I mean, I know that I was getting a lot of messages from you guys about, oh, how do I do circles? So this was your circle tutorial. I hope this really helped you. Uh, if you got any questions, please leave a comment or message me or whatever. Uh, you know, feel free to complain in what I didn't cover in this video. I'm sure I'm probably missing something, but I think for the most part, you guys, uh, you guys are set. All right. All right, guys. Have a good one.